Uh, hanging out with our Mike Iani today. Uh, he's got some grade nine students who are about to head down to Mexico to build some houses. And Mike, you've been putting them to the test. <laughs> they had no idea that I was going to put them on the spot and tell them to uh, have a hammer race. And now their instructor, Alonzo, over here is going to put them on the spot again because, you know, they know how to frame a wall and build a frame. But, Alonzo, you are getting them to do something they've never done before. What is that? Well, it's the windows. So the window has to be totally straight because another way uh, it won't fit nothing in there. So the kids have to try to put a piece in there totally straight. So no pressure. It has to be completely straight. Uh, we have Perry and we have Johnny. Johnny, how's it going there? It's going well. <laughs> yeah. A little bit difficult. No, you're actually doing well. And you, you know, I got to say, this is, this is the definition of teamwork because we've got a bunch of students here pushing the boards to make sure everything is nice and snug. That's good job. <laughs> See, a team's all working together. Alonzo, and really, I mean, the whole trip here is really all about teamwork. That's it. You know what I mean? The, the kids have to coordinate and everything, and they, they know that. So I, I turn my back for a moment, and I got to bring you over here because I, I turn around and I see there's a bunch of face painting going on. And I start questioning why are they painting faces at the same time as building homes? So I want to introduce you to Nancy. And Nancy, I'm sure everyone at home is wondering why you guys are painting faces right now. <laughs> we do face painting when we're in Mexico. Uh, while the houses are being built, the kids want to build relationships with the uh, people around, the kids around. And sometimes there's like up to 150, 200 kids that are hanging around the work site. And the, the community just comes together, so it's a great way to build relationships with kids, especially when you can't speak the language, okay. which is quite common. <laughs> so you guys bring your supplies down there, and you are ready to go. Yeah, we're all ready to go. Now, there's other things other than face painting as well. I understand spoken word and other things like that. Yeah, we've done. Uh, we've learned this year how to do street art, uh, hip hop, spoken word. The kids do uh, sometimes do drama, like mimes, of course, with no. Uh, no Spanish, so they're, they're, they're moving around doing uh, Spanish mimes. Mime is, and mime is good when you don't know the language. Yeah, it's very good. And uh, in the past, we've even done clowns and balloon uh, animals. Yeah. Now your daughter, Chelsea, who's right over here. Uh, Chelsea, you have been on this trip before. You're heading down again. Uh, yeah. What's it like, uh, you know, inter interacting with the locals, uh, who, and especially when you don't speak the same language? Uh, it's pretty interesting because you're down there, you're 15 years old, and you're confronted with people that... Um, don't have as much as you, definitely, but also just that language barrier is is difficult to get across, but you get across usually with hand motions, lots of smiles, and I think just being kind to them, and they reciprocate that, and just that language of kindness is a great experience to have. Exactly. Excellent. Well, there you go. Lots of things going to be happening in Mexico when they leave on the 19th of March, including, as you see, face painting. Now it makes sense, right? Face painting, home building. Absolutely. More with Mike Yanni in just a bit.